How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Hello friends, my name is Tammy and welcome to my minimalist kitchen tour. So today I'm going to take you through all of my cupboards, my pantry, and my fridge and show you how I have them organized as well as how many items I have of everything. I have really decluttered my kitchen so many times that I have it down to where I am just happy with everything that I have. I don't have too much, but I have enough. Everything is very functional. I would say that I've been on my minimalist journey for about five years and the kitchen is the one place in my home that I have honed in on and I am just really happy with where it's at. So I did want to share that with you guys. Now I do realize that I have quite a bit of cupboard space so I was able to kind of spread things out a little bit. So if you have a smaller kitchen you can still get lots of ideas from this and you can work with you know whatever it is that you have but I haven't had to stack anything on top of each other. Everything has breathing room. However, if I did have a smaller kitchen, I could easily compact everything into a smaller space. So in any case, I also wanted to say that the pantry and the fridge, I just recently did makeovers on those. If you guys wanted to check out those, I will link them up above, especially the pantry because that was a massive transformation. Very satisfying and I highly recommend going and checking that out. However, you will get a tour of it today along with the rest of the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started with the upper cupboards. So we're starting with the least used area first. So everything in here is stuff that I do not use on a daily basis because it is up high and it's the farthest away from the dishwasher and fridge. However, I will show you what I have in here. So up here, I have some glass dishes. Now you might notice I have all of this room above it. However, there was shelves that went in there, but I thought, what's the point? I can't reach anything up there anyways, and I don't need the extra storage. So yeah, that's just some glass dishes up there that I use for baking once in a while. And then in here, these are the kind of dishes that I use a little bit more often, but again, not necessarily on a daily basis. So there's just some bowls that are white. And then there's like a casserole dish and then I have a platter as well. And then over here I have some glasses that we don't use very often but my kids enjoy the glasses so we keep them. I have these little white dishes. We use these for all sorts of things from cat food to sauces. I actually use these quite a bit. And then up here is my tea set. Now we really don't use this very often. In fact, I could definitely live without it, but occasionally I have a tea party with my girls and it's lots of fun and I have the room for it right now. So that's why we're keeping it. Again, notice that there is not shelves up high. The shelves used to be here, but I can't reach anything up there. So again, I just took the shelf out and that way I can reach everything in my kitchen. So in these tinted glass cupboards, I don't actually keep anything. Above the microwave, I do have a popcorn maker, which makes sense because it's for microwave popcorn. And then I have some muffin tins and I don't use those very often, so that's why they are sitting up there. Below my oven, I have this drawer where I keep my baking pans. So I have two of these nonstick baking pans and then I also have two large silver baking sheets. Moving on from where the microwave and stove are, this area here is what I like to call the hub of the kitchen. And that's because the dishwasher, fridge, and pantry are all in this area. So everything that I have over here is what I would consider very essential to every day because when I am unloading the dishwasher, I want everything to be close at hand. When I'm preparing food, I wanna be able to grab something from the fridge and be able to prepare it right here and have everything on hand. 
Also, that is where my coffee maker is, and I consider that one of the most essential appliances that I own. And so when I wanna grab creamer from the fridge, then everything is right there. I also have the mugs right above, so there was a lot of thought that went into where I put everything. So this is where I keep our glasses that we use all of the time. As you can see, they're right there. Those are the main used ones. And then up there is all of our to-go mugs. My husband uses a lot of those to go to work. So we do have quite a few. If you notice, they're quite tall. So I brought the shelf down quite a bit so that there was lots of room above and also I can still reach everything. I also have a few kids cups over here because I do have a six-year-old. Above here, is where I keep drink supplies and I also have a container for making iced tea. And then down below here, this is where I keep all of my coffee supplies. So we have a milk frother in the back. Now I don't use that often enough for it to earn space right on the counter, but it is right there if I do need it at all. And then these are all the mugs that I own. Now I have decluttered my mugs quite a few times, but these are the ones that made it through all of the decluttering. And I will say when it comes to mugs, I'm kind of not a minimalist. I just love them so much, especially like the seasonal ones for fall and Christmas. I have special ones that I bring out. So anyways, I'm not really a minimalist for that, but check out some of my cute mugs. Okay, so I got this one from Harry Potter World and it's a little cauldron. And I just think that this one is just super cute. Anyhow, there's, there's a lot of cute ones and I enjoy my coffee, if you can tell. Anyhow, the mugs are right above where the coffee machine is. I also have a sugar container here if I decide I wanna have sugar in my coffee. I don't always have sugar in my coffee. Sometimes I just have cream, but occasionally I do. And then my husband likes sugar in his coffee. So we have it right there. It's really easily accessible. And yeah, coffee's amazing. I just gotta say that. So right below here, this is where my coffee machine is. And I also have all of our little pods here so they're easily accessible. And then I have a kettle right here that I use for tea occasionally. So now I'm gonna show you the drawers that are just below the coffee machine. Now, if you would like to check out any of the organizational items that I have, I will link everything that I can below in the description box. So I have this organizer here that goes out as well as a knife block one. And this is really handy for just keeping everything in place. So I have all of kind of my sharper tools and stuff over here. These are cat food lids so that I can put those over top of the tin food. I have a little tea strainer there. And then this is all of our everyday silverware. Some of the items over here are just ones that are kind of bigger, like salad stuff that didn't fit in anywhere. And I do have another set up here. I know this isn't very minimalist of me to have two sets, but this was gifted to me from Timu and I really like making tablescapes and stuff. So I did have the space for it. So I decided to keep it. Also, if we ever run out, then I have some extras. Um, over here is where I have all of our knives. These are all steak knives here. And then I only keep four knives that I use on an everyday basis for cutting things. So I don't have, you know how those knife blocks often come with like a ton of knives? I only use four. So I have a sharp one like this. I have another sharp one. These are basically the same thing. And then I have a smaller one. And then I have a bread knife. And that is it. I have realized that I can get by with pretty much everything using these knives. And I actually kind of enjoy cooking now. It took me a little while, but I enjoy making fresh food and stuff. So I actually use these quite a bit, but it's everything that I need. In the middle drawer is where we keep all of our main plates. So I found that a really good number for our family was 10. So I have 10 plates, 10 kind of half plate bowls, 10 of the smaller ones, 
and then 10 holes like this. There's actually only eight here in the drawer right now, and I think that's because there might be some hiding around the house somewhere, but I do have 10. And I just found that was a really good number for six people in our family so that we have a few extras if we have guests, or sometimes there's items that are in the dishwasher still while I need to use some other dishes, but I never seem to run out of dishes with 10, but I also don't have an overabundance. So kind of think about how many people you have in your family. I would say that like, say you have four people in your family, then eight is probably a good number, but you kind of have to figure that out for yourself. In the very bottom drawer here, this is where I keep all of our to-go containers. So I only have glass ones because plastic is not good for you anyways. And I always store them on top of the lid so that I never lose them. Now I often have more than this in here, but my husband has a few that he took to work. Plus we have some in the fridge because of leftovers. Um, and then this container here, this is for storing fruit and vegetables and stuff. I have one that is in the fridge right now. And these are ones that are just not in use at the moment. So I just keep them stored in here. Next to the drawers is this cupboard, and this is where I keep my pots and pans and frying pans, just things that I use quite often. I also have um, a cake pan in here. I have one bundt cake pan. That's all I keep for cakes because I don't want really to bake anything else enough. It's either that or cupcakes. And then I have four pots here. There's just like a larger one, medium, medium, and small. And then here I have two silver bowls. Now I use these for so many things. I use them for baking, for you know mixing things up. I also use them as popcorn bowls. So they're very multifunctional. And then I have a strainer behind that. And then here is where I keep my pans. So I have a larger and a smaller one. Now, if I did have less cupboard space, I could still compact this very easily. Um, you know, you can put pots on top of things and you can smush things together. In fact, you could just like put these on top of each other. I just happen to have the space, so that's why everything is so spread out. So above that cupboard, I have these two drawers where I keep all of my major utensils. Now, I will admit, I used to have just a junk drawer full of these, and everything was always cluttered together, but having these dividers is a real game changer, and so I'm able to just organize everything. I know where everything is, and honestly, I'm kind of looking through this now, and I think that somebody else put the dishes away because I have a very specific way that I like things and how I like things to fit. Anyways, okay, it's good now. So I have all of my wooden ones here, then I have like my tongs, I have my cups, and then these are all my ladles and spoons. Spatulas go over here, plus this big one because it just fits in the wider space, and the masher and the uh, cheese grater, they all fit here. And then this is all things like the rubber spatulas and stuff that go over here as well as the whisk. And so everything is organized and I have everything that I need to cook and everything in here gets used at some point so I don't feel like I have too much of something. So we're gonna move on to the other side of the stove and I will show you the drawers here. So we have three of them along this way. Now, this one has all of my tea towels and I like to have them rolled up because they look pretty and I am a person that thrives on functionality yet letting things be aesthetically pleasing. To me, it being pretty is part of the functionality. Anyhow, so that is where I keep the tea towels and washcloths. And then over here, I have my oven mitts. And then these are freezer bags in this container. And then I have this little thing here. And I use this occasionally, but not very often. So that's why it's kind of tucked away a little bit. But I still use it often enough that I need to keep it. All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, I love the organization in here. Instead of, you know, all those cardboard boxes that you usually have all of this stuff in. So I have sandwich bags. This is the bags that I use for the slow cooker. And then I have my plastic wrap and parchment paper and tin foil and they are just they're so pretty i just love having everything in here looking like this okay so we're gonna move down below now 
This is where I keep my KitchenAid mixer. Now this used to have a spot on my counter because I guess I thought it looked nice or something, but I realized that I did not use it often enough, so it found its way into the cupboard. And I also have accessories for the KitchenAid here, like this. I also have a few hot pads, and there's a rolling pin in there as well. Now we're gonna move on to the next cupboard, and this is where I keep my small appliances. I have a slow cooker, a toaster, and a mixer. Now the toaster is kind of debatable whether it belongs in the cupboard or on the countertop. I have kind of considered putting it back there because my kids do use it quite often, but for right now, it's just in the cupboard and they take it out as needed. One thing that you might be noticing I don't have, I don't have an Instapot. I decluttered that a while ago because I realized that I personally just didn't use it and it was very complex. And so these are like the rest of my small appliances that I have. I don't have any other ones. And these ones are the tried and true ones that I know I'm gonna keep and I know I'm gonna use. On the top cupboard here, I have my cutting boards, I have a cheese grater, I have some strainers, and I have these measuring cups. I have a few of those because I do find sometimes I need larger ones and then this right here so this is a little food processor that I got from Pampered Chef and this is the one item I actually remember decluttering about four years ago that I regret decluttering and had to repurchase so what happened was I didn't really use the original one because I just wasn't in the frame of mind of needing it and so I didn't miss it for about two years. However, after two years, I started getting into cooking more fresh foods and I realized that I actually missed it, so I had to repurchase it. So, you know, when it comes to my decluttering journey, sometimes I make mistakes, sometimes you'll make mistakes if you're decluttering something, but in the grand scheme of things, there has been probably hundreds if not thousands of items that I have decluttered and haven't regretted one of them. This is like the only repurchase I think I have ever made in the last five years so you know one to five thousand of a win-lose situation I think it's okay yeah I had to spend money on this again but I am just so happy with decluttering what I have decluttered so I wanted to show you the top of my counters. So it is pretty clean. I got some salt and pepper and a little butter dish here. This is completely unnecessary, but it looks pretty and I just needed something in the corner. And the paper towel is necessary and that is why it's there. Otherwise I would have gotten rid of it. But I do actually use this recipe book and I use the recipe holder. So it's, you know, it doesn't have to be there all the time, but I just like the way it looks. Now I have two Two more drawers here or are they they're actually not drawers this is a pull out garbage so this is something that we installed ourselves because I was like I don't need any more storage but I could use a garbage that tucks into my cupboards because I don't like looking at garbage I, I like things to look nice and clean so what we did is we like put a hole in this one and then these are like put together so that with this little metal thing here anyhow so it all slides together and yeah that was just like a makeshift garbage that we created i say we i mean my husband but i did come up with the idea now i've showed you everything on this side of the kitchen and i'll take you over to the island which honestly doesn't even have any kitchen supplies in it over here is where my kids keep their art supplies and this is where we keep the cleaning supplies so i will show you real quick what's in here i do try and keep it somewhat minimal so that we're not overwhelmed by things in fact not all of this is even cleaning supplies because i have little bubbles over there for the girls anyhow that's that's what's in there and i have cleaned that up pretty good all right over here we have the dishwasher over there is where we keep some gaming supplies where i keep my mail um, this is where we have um, supplements and things like that. I have a couple extra cookbooks up there. And now I will take you into the fridge. 
At the top here, I have two egg containers. This one is hard boiled eggs and that one is fresh farm eggs. And then we have some shredded chicken, some queso dip. And then I have these clear containers and these are so amazing because you can just pull stuff out and you can see everything that's tucked away in the back. I got these from HomeSense, which is also known as Home Goods. And then I have two more here. And these are so good for like snacks and stuff like yogurts and everything just looks super organized. And then over here I have some more leftovers I have some pop and then this is like my favorite thing it's the turntable in my fridge now you might think is this a waste of space I personally think it is worth every bit of space that it takes up because I don't have things in the back that get lost and this way I could just I could see everything I can get to everything now I do sometimes use like the corners here and the corners in the back if we have an overloaded fridge and I just need to put something somewhere but right now it's not overloaded so I can just keep it nice and clear okay so below the next shelf we have these larger containers so I can put larger items like pickles or sour cream in and then I have my drawers where I keep my vegetables and fruit so I have some fresh grapes in there and then I have the pull-out drawer and this is just where I keep like my cheeses and stuff. This is some cat food there. And then I had one yogurt that was left over so it just got stuck in there. I think I actually need to go grocery shopping because it looks a little bare in here. But anyways, over here, this is where I keep my milk and sometimes we'll have a juice or something over here. I have heard that you shouldn't keep your milk in the door because it goes bad like faster. However, we go through milk so quickly that it's not an issue for us and honestly this would take up so much room in the fridge okay then i have some salad dressings some other stuff like butter and cheese over here i have some bacon and beef jerky and then some salsa and pop and that is it for the fridge for today who knows what it'll look like tomorrow and then below here i have a pull out freezer and again, this can change all the time. It's not very crowded right now, but I have some frozen fruit and vegetables, some ice cream, corn dogs, some more ice cream and ice pops, and then I do have an ice maker here, so I got a little scoop for it because you can use your hands. Anyhow, so that is my freezer. And now we will move on to my absolute favorite thing in this entire kitchen, which is my pantry. So this is probably my favorite space in my entire house so far. Like if I'm having a bad day, I'll just come and look at my pantry or if it is a little disorganized, I'll just clean my pantry and it just, it makes my day, it makes me happy. So I'm gonna share this happiness with you and show you how I have it all organized and how I have it just very aesthetically pleasing. Starting at the bottom here, I have these two baskets. This one has reusable bags in it, and the other one has plastic bags and paper bags. Now this one doesn't pull out all of the way because this is in the way. However, I usually just have to reach in to get a plastic bag, so it's no big deal. I used to have the stool over there, but the stool was much more important to be able to pull out, so that's why those got switched. Now over here I have recycling. These containers are from Ikea. And here I have the cardboard recycling. And then over here I have the bottle recycling. In these white containers from Ikea, I have lots of random items from baking supplies to snacks. We have some popcorn and some hot chocolate, goldfish and kitty treats. And then moving up from there, there's two more baskets. These are from Canadian Tire. And in this one, I have crackers and cookies and snacks. And then this one is where we keep all of our chips. Next to that, I have another one of these turntables. And these are honestly so much fun. I love how I can just see everything. This is from HomeSense, by the way. and. They are just great. I love having these everywhere. Okay, moving on from that, this is where we keep our cereal. I also have some rice and some cat food. 
Over to the side, I have my charcuterie board hanging on the wall. And then I'll bring you over to these baskets here. I have potatoes, a bunch of random snacks like granola bars and fruit snacks. And then I have some apples over in this one. This is where I keep all of my baking supplies like bread and sometimes I have pitas and things like that sitting here. This is where I keep my loose leaf tea and if you're wondering how do I know what kind of tea it is, it's because I have them all labeled on the bottom. Then I have some bacon bits, chili powder, and baking powder. Above here I have the straws, some pasta. I often have a different kind of pasta in there but I'm out at the moment. Then I have brown sugar, marshmallows, chocolate chips, baking soda, um, I have some coconut, and then some icing sugar in there. Up here we have some yogurt covered pretzels, that's sugar back there, oatmeal, iced tea mix, and flour. And then this is where all of my spices are. Again, if you're wondering how do I know what spices are what, it's because I have them labeled on the bottom. Moving over here, this is where I keep all of my cans, and I'm just gonna move this here for a second so you can see. It has a little stand back there, so that's why everything is elevated. And then this is where I keep all of our pop. Now on the very top, this is where I keep all of the extras of everything. So I often go to like Costco or something like that, and then I'll have a few items that I'm not ready to use, but I still wanna keep, so that all gets stored up there, and then I have my placemats right in the middle. So I'll just give you one last look of the pantry because it's just worth giving one last look at. So that is the end of the kitchen tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I just wanted to thank you so much for tuning in. Now I know that my kitchen might be completely different from yours. You might have less cupboard space, or you might just have a completely different setup with different cupboards. However, I hope that you were able just to get some ideas or some inspiration from seeing how I organized my home. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next one. Take care. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the